G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Today's video is going to be showing you how I've modified my Helicontex Summit backpack. Now the backpack itself, I've done, video, well, I've done videos of all the pouches on here as well as the pack, but I'd just like to show you the actual finished product. So let's take my jacket out of there to make it easier. pack itself it's a 40 litre pack the summit backpack from helicon Tex, and it weighs in about the 1.2 kilos so it's a very lightweight pack for a cross hiking tactical backpack we've got the molly webbing on the side to see um, I don't know I can't remember what they call it now but it's micro uh, webbing I think not certain and the pack has done many hundreds of kilometers with me through the bush hiking and just in general use but the main things I added to it are to all my packs are the navtail pouches on the front which is big enough to carry a 20,000 milliamp battery charger the back uh, power banks I think they're called and I can fit my mobile phone in here. My last mobile phone was the Samsung Note 8 and that fitted in inside nice and easy. And that meant when I'm walking, I can just grab my phone out and if I need the power bank, I'll just run the cable over from the power bank over to my phone and charge my phone on the go. At the front of this one, You've got another little pocket on it with some elasticated webbing in there so you can organise that. And I've got my car keys in this one at the moment and if I believe it should be some ear uh, plugs. So if there's anybody snoring at camp, I can help die, uh, dead that out a bit. Under that I've got two carabiners, one under each, and that's where I can hang my water bottle from, so it's always in access at the front. A lot of this has been added due to doing the YouTube and carrying the tripods, carrying the cameras, the spare batteries and everything. But it can also be used for other stuff if you're hiking. You can throw your snacks in, like this one here. We've got some expandable pockets on the side and they do expand and you can get a good bit of stuff in them. Uh, next thing you'll notice, I've got a pouch on either side. And these are the Helicontex general purpose pouches. Everything on here is from Helicontex on the outside, apart from a couple of little mods I've done myself. But in here, we've got again some elasticated webbing. We've got another organizer which you can put in and take out on the side there. You've got pockets on it. So at the moment, I've just got some uh, tissues left in here because I've taken a load of stuff out which I've just used to put the tent up with. And you can even add to that to expand it even further. And again, there's one on this side, and this one I believe is basically my ditty bag. I've got my pump or on my airbed there, which I didn't need as a self-inflating uh, one. I've got spare pegs in there, my sunglasses in uh, my glass case in there, and inside that I've got my head torch. Handy little things. The next things you'll notice are the mini med kits. Now I've divided these into snake bite kits and general purpose. So I've got two compression bandages in there, a triangular bandage, and in this side, in case you need to do a leg with compression, I've got a third compression bandage in there, and the rest of this is just my general first aid kit, like uh, the fix mole for blisters and everything, grazes, um, alcohol wipes, all that sort of stuff, a few band-aids, stroke plasters. So that's the actual pa uh, pack itself, what's attached to it. So let's show you one thing that goes with me everywhere, and I've got multiple, let's just get this done up. Moves the pack out of the way now. Uh, 
Now this little folding sit pad, which if I remember rightly, let's have a look to make sure, is a Zagapond seat pad, I think they call it. Yeah, seat pad, not sit, seat. So if you want to keep a dry bomb or have something to kneel on to keep your knees dry or out the dirt, this is fantastic. It's not the thickest, but it does take the harshness off a rock or the ground or a wooden bench like this. Let's get that out of the way. Oh, I've got some dry bird poop on me. It's off the table. Next thing. Now this, I carry most of my camera, my electronics in here. And it's the Bandicoot waste pack. I think they call it a pack or is it a pouch? Yeah, waste pack. I've got my charger in there. Oh, another case. If my camera, I swap down to the single. That's my camera too. Let's try and get that back in there. I don't know why that came out. An extension handle, which is a power bank also. And this is the 10,000 mAh one. So I can just connect my camera there, plug it in, and it'll charge as I use it. Another power bank in there, spare batteries, camera batteries in the front of here. Uh, I've got my cables in the waterproof pack there with the micro SD cards. So they're all safe. And if you don't want to use it for electronics, you could use it as an EDC. So all your bits and bobs in there, your cup kit in there, your fire kit. And it's also, they call it the hidden pocket at the back. So you can throw your wallet in there, cash in there. And it's all adjustable, the straps come off. You fit it on a belt around your waist. Now that's going to be coming with me most places if I'm filming. If I wasn't filming, I wouldn't need this. And even the stuff in the other pouch, the next one, would all fit inside the pack here. But having the pouches and the packs on the outside, uh, it helps you organise, makes it a lot more organised, you can get to things easier, quicker. You know where everything is, you don't have to grab everything out, the main pack, and just throw it everywhere or drop stuff on the floor when you're looking. With these, this is on my waist, I open it up, grab out what I need, and then zip it back up. And the last thing, oh, well there's two things on here, first of all I'll show you these smaller pouches. Oh, let's put that back in, don't lose it. They're called emergency and uh, compass pouches. Great size for your folding pouches at full length. This is a uh, cadet which I'm testing at the moment from Helicontex. That sits in there nice, took the string in out of the way. There's a hole there if I wanted to, to connect the string. So if I took that out, I could use it, and if I dropped it, it'll just hang, and I'm not gonna lose it or break it. On this side is my spot tracker stroke EPIRB. Now that sits in there really nice. The new ones are smaller too, and your Garmin's can fit in there. And because these little pouches do expand, you could probably get a larger EPIRB in that too. Now this is the Numbat chest rig or a chest pack. Great little pack for on its own or if you're just going out for a day walk you can throw your water bottle over your shoulder and just use this to carry bits and bobs in. On the bottom, we've got the uh, elastic cord, so you can put uh, a poncho in there, or your rain jacket, one of the lightweight ones, or if you're going to use it for bushcraft, you can put your knife through there, or your saw, like a Laplander folding saw from Baco, that fits in there nice. Two more pockets on the front here. Uh, I'll just add stuff in there. There's cockaboos. And this is all on mo molly webbing. So these little pouches just sit on there nice. There's room for another one there. 
on the molly there's a hole in that end in the uh, laser cut so you can put a small carabiner or tie some power cords for it some more molly webbing coming all the way up so you can put your molly straps through more points to attach carabiners uh, on the sides too you've got these four power cord so you can hang stuff up there or use that to hang your pack up and uh, it's so like a chest wig so that goes all the way around so it will sit here and then inside this one at the moment I'll open up I've got two small fire kits same ones but one's been upgraded so I'm going to show that in another video be careful my camera my knife at the bottom my little torch I'll be using I've got a sharpening stone there a glow light for my fire for, uh, small bellows for getting the fire going or keeping it going let's get it back in there I've got a lighter behind that in here I've got a pocket, more pockets, I've got my wallet I've got another map from when the next first map runs out and that's sitting on the chest open so you're not going to lose anything and this one here undo the hook and loop, props down and there's my map so I can see where I am this can come out, I can put another organiser on the back there, the ones with the hook and loop I just saw in the general purpose pack, uh, pouch. Really good, really good idea. So if I was just going to use this for hiking, like I said, I've got my EPUB, I've got my navigation on there. I'd have a little fire kit, I'd have my torch in there, I'd have spare batteries in there. I'd just have what I generally need, a spare map. Whatever you carry in your pocket can go in here. Now, in the winter, these are great because it helps keep you warm. In the Australian summer, not so good because you get even hotter, so you overheat. So, but lucky enough, in the summer, I've got a different map pouch, which just hangs and it's not up against me. But general, in the winter, spring, autumn, it's cooling down. They're great bits of kit here in Australia. Maybe the rest of the world, like in America, parts of America, where it's a bit cooler, Canada, you could use this all year round. But as you can see, nice little setup. Around my waist, on my chest, on my main backpack, on my back. So it's taken a 40 litre pouch, and now I can carry everything I need. I've actually used this pack on its own for five days. Uh, I added a couple of I think the med pouches on here and that was about all and it lasted me five days and I still had food and everything left afterwards and room in the pack. So now with the added pouches, like I said, organisation, easy to grab stuff if I need. I'm not going to have to pull everything out of my pack and drop it on the floor. So I hope you enjoyed the video and if you're a Helicon Tex fan, <laughs> this is one you could do. So if you've enjoyed the video, please go down below and click on the subscribe button. If you haven't already, click on the thumbs up button for the like. Click the bell next to them and click uh, select all so you can be notified of all future videos. And if you are already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much. So until next time, get out there, have some fun and take care.